greetings of the day. I welcome you all to uh, another lecture on our course on power quality problems and solutions. <laughs> and in today's lecture, we are going to start last module of our course, module four. I will write here module four. This is the last module of your uh, course. <clears throat> in this module, we'll be mostly discussing various types of filters like passive power filters. I write here passive power filters, that is PPFs, and then active power filters active power filters that is APFs and hybrid power filters hybrid <clears throat> power filters that is HPFs so this is the topic of discussion in this module <clears throat> so we'll be discussing passive power filters active power filters and hybrid power filters uh, we will start our discussions today with passive power filters passive power filters that is ppfs the question is what is a passive power filter and where do we use it? Why do we need it? And what is its application? Where do we use it? <clears throat> passive, the word passive means in this filter, power filter, or in these types of power filters, we'll be using the passive circuit elements like inductances and capacitances, L and C. It's just like in uh, passive compensation uh, of loads. That's when we were studying the load compensation using passive elements which is also called passive compensation. There also we uh, predominantly use these energy storage elements or passive elements like inductances and capacitances. In passive power filters, also we will be using these circuit elements, uh, predominantly inductances and capacitances. Now the question is what are passive power filters or what are filters? As you already know, power, con power semiconductor device-based converters like uh, adjustable speed drives, which are three-phase drives, electric arc furnaces, electric arc furnaces, electric welding equipment, or I will write electric welding, okay? Um, uh, among the three phase loads and uh, for example single phase TV power supply television power supply set top box of cable or dish TV its power supply set top box STB power supply computer power supply which is uh, switched mode power supply okay then UPS, uninterruptible power supply, which we use in our homes, uh, offices, and also in uh, industries. Inverter air conditioners, inverter ACs, that's air conditioners. Lighting system, lighting system, okay. Induction heating, induction heating system in our kitchens. Okay, then in our offices, laser printers and Xerox machines. Xerox machines. These are all examples of nonlinear loads. These all types of loads, some of them are three phase loads and some are single phase loads. They are examples of nonlinear loads, highly nonlinear loads. Okay. So whether it's a three-phase adjustable speed drive or three-phase electric arc furnace, electric welding or single-phase TV power supply, set-top box power supply, 
computer power supply, UPS, inverter air conditioning system, lighting system, induction heating, laser printers, or Xerox machines. These are various types of nonlinear loads which are based on power electronics converters. And what type of converters? I mean, what type of converter makes these loads nonlinear? It is single phase or three phase AC to DC converters. AC to DC FECs. FECs means front end converters. At the front end of all these types of loads, we are using either single phase AC to DC front end converter or three phase AC to DC front end converter. And it is this AC to DC converter which makes the load nonlinear. And when I say nonlinear, it means that current drawn by these types of loads is having a nonlinear relationship with the voltage. The line current or source current drawn by these types of loads is highly distorted. Okay, uh, it's very rich. It will be very rich in harmonics. <clears throat> I, I'm, uh, if I address power electronics and electric drives students with whom I am already doing some online classes on power electronics simulation lab. Over the last three weeks, we have been simulating different types of single phase and three phase AC to DC rectifiers and converters. And we have been studying them from the point of view of power quality also. And we have, uh, all, of, all of you must be knowing, we have done FFT analysis of current drawn by these types of converters, whether it is a single phase AC to DC converter or three phase AC to DC converter, we have done the FFT analysis and we have found that the current drawn is very rich in harmonics and that the THD, that's the total harmonic distortion of the current, line current, AC current or input current drawn by converters in these types of loads, it's very rich in harmonics. THD is very high, greater than 5%. Some in somewhere 30 percent somewhere 40 percent somewhere 50 percent somewhere more than 50 percent and in some applications we have seen near to 100 percent and in some applications worst cases the thd may be more than 100 percent that means the currents drawn by these non-linear loads because of front and ac to dc converters are rich in harmonics and that makes these types of loads non-linear loads and not only that the AC to DC converters, especially phase control converters, when they are operated at larger delay angle or this firing angle, they draw large amount of reactive power also. So therefore, these types of loads, single phase or three phase non-linear loads, they distort the currents, line currents, which results in distortion in the voltage at the point of common coupling. And they also result in more reactive power demand from the source. Your load is DC, load may not re uh, require any uh, reactive power, but the AC to DC converter, especially at large delay angles, it draws reactive power. It becomes a sink for the reactive power. It draws the reactive power. Okay. And also you have seen uh, in case of single phase half wave rectifiers, single phase half wave converter or three phase half wave converter, the current drawn is DC. It has a strong DC component that results in DC offset voltage, DC offset in the voltages at the point of common coupling. Okay, so therefore, to eliminate the harmonics drawn by these types of loads, you need filters. One type of filter you have already studied in module three that is um, DSTATCOM. A DSTATCOM is a custom power device. It has multiple objectives. One of the objectives was to uh, supply the reactive power demand of the load. That means doing the uh, reactive power compensation. Another uh, application of or another objective of DSTATCOM we have studied in the previous, in the last module, module number three. We have seen DSTATCOM also uh, does the uh, harmonic compensation. Okay, they, uh, you know, they, uh, it, uh, DSTATCOM cancels the harmonics in the line currents, making line currents purely sinusoidal. Another application or another objective of DSTATCOM we have studied is that a DSTATCOM does the load compensation. Uh, load compensation means, low, I mean load balancing. In case of an unbalanced three-phase load, it makes the line currents perfectly balanced. And you have also seen that a DSTATCOM can also be used for zero voltage regulation. 
okay but when you are using for example suppose you are not using d stack com okay you have a non linear load among any one of the load or uh, different types of loads among this category of loads how to take care of harmonics drawn by these types of loads and how to supply part of reactive power demanded by these types of loads for that purpose we use passive filters or passive power filters okay now when you use passive power filters you are actually doing harmonic compensation harmonic distortion you are uh, harmonic cancellation you are basically doing you are cancelling the harmonics present in the line currents making them perfectly or very nearly sinusoidal and some small amount of reactive power compensation can also be done by these passive filters okay now passive filters have uh, tremendous applications in low to medium low and medium power applications they are very popular in low and medium power applications and in high power applications these passive power filters are very popular in hvdc systems high voltage direct current transmission systems which is one of the courses in your mtech second semester both for peed as well as eps specializations and inshallah hopefully i will be teaching you that subject that's a very interesting subject and in hvdc transmission systems also harmonic compensation or harmonic cancellation is done by passive filters okay so therefore the primary objective of passive filters is harmonics compensation or harmonics cancellation and some reactive power compensation also let us try to classify now these uh, uh, passive filters i will write here classification of passive power filters ppfs now passive power filters can be classified on the basis of topology i will write here number 1 topology based classification this is one way of classifying passive power filters or pa passive filters second is connection based classification connection based classification and third type of classification is supply based classification let us discuss these classifications one by one first of all i will discuss with you topology based classification so i will write here number 1 topology based classification of passive power filters topology based classification based on the topology of or topology of power uh, this passive power filters they can be you know uh, classified as shunt power filters shunt passive filter shunt passive filters okay or series passive filters series pfs series passive filters or hybrid passive filters hybrid passive filters now as far as shunt passive filters are concerned okay now let us take shunt passive filters shunt passive filters pfs shunt passive filters are further uh, you know uh, classified uh, uh, i will show you shunt passive filters are classified like this let me show you here itself shunt passive filters are classified as band pass or tuned filters i will write here band pass or tuned filters that is one type of shunt passive one classification this is the sub classification of shunt passive filters and second is second sub classification is high pass filters high pass or damped filters high pass or <coughs> damped filters okay now if i take band pass or tuned filters these band pass or tuned filters are further sub classified as single tuned filters single tuned filter double tuned filter double tuned 
फिल्टर ट्रिपल ट्यून फिल्टर ट्रिपल ट्यून फिल्टर और मल्टी ट्यून फिल्टर मल्टी ट्यून फिल्टर ओके फिल्टर सो दिस इज आई एम एक्चुअली क्लासिफाइंग फिल्टर्स पैसि फिल्टर्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ टोपोलॉजी ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ टोपोलॉजी देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ पैसि पावर फिल्टर्स शांट पैसि फिल्टर्स सीरीज पैसि फिल्टर्स एंड हाइब्रिड पैसि फिल्टर्स शांट पैसि फिल्टर्स आर फर्दर सब क्लासिफाइड इन टू बैंड पास और ट्यून फिल्टर्स एंड हाई पास और डैम्प्ड फिल्टर्स now as far as band pass filters or tuned filters are concerned they are further sub classified into single tuned filter double tuned filter triple tuned filter or multi tuned filter and as far as high pass filters or damped filters are concerned these high pass filters or damped filters are further classified as first order filter i will write here first order filter another classification is second order filter second order filter another classification is third order filter third order filter another classification is c type filter c type filter this is the classification of sub classification of high pass filters or damped filters i mean shunt passive filters which is actually a category of shunt passive filters now high pass or damped shunt passive filters are further sub classified into first order filter second order filter third order filter or c type filter so this is the sub classification of shunt passive filters i will again i will repeat shunt passive filters are further classified into band pass or tuned pass shunt passive filters or high pass or damped passive shunt passive filters now band pass or tuned filters are further sub classified into single tuned filter double tuned filter triple tuned filter or multi tuned filter and high pass or damped shunt passive filters are further subdivided into first order filter second order filter third order filter or c type filter so this is the complete classification of shunt passive filters let us go to series passive filters let's try to classify series passive filters these are my series passive filters now just like shunt passive filters series passive filters are also of two categories band block or tuned filters i will write here band block filters or tuned filters tuned shunt passive filters i mean your shunt passive filter was uh, its first category was um, band pass but series passive filter first category is band block why that is called band pass and this is called band block filter i will come to that later on a second category is high block there in shunt passive filter second category was high pass filter here it is high block filters high block or damped filters damped filters okay now as far as these um, band block or tuned filters are concerned just like shunt passive filters they are further subdivided into single tuned filter single tuned filter or multi tuned filter multi tuned filter and as far as high block or damped filters are concerned they are further subdivided into first order filter just like your shunt passive filters first order filter and second order filter second order filter okay so this is the complete classification of series sorry series passive filters so i repeat series passive filters just like shunt passive filters are subdivided into two categories two broad categories band block filters or tuned series passive filters and high block or damped series passive filters now band block or tuned filters are further subdivided into two categories single tuned filter and multi tuned filters 
and high block or damp filters are also subdivided into two categories first order filter and second order filter now let us come to hybrid passive filters now as far as these hybrid passive filters are concerned they have one category uh, they comprise of um, hybrid series and shunt passive filter hybrid series and shunt passive filters i mean uh, hybrid means it is a combination of series passive filter and shunt passive filter so this is the classification of um, these passive filters based on the topology which is also called topology based classification before i go to second type of classification let me show you the circuit diagrams for each and every type of classification now as far as shunt passive filters are concerned now let let me first of all take shunt passive filters now as far as these shunt passive filters are concerned there are two types main two categories are tuned filters and damped filters so first category is band pass band pass filters or tuned filters tuned filters and these band pass or tuned filters are further subdivided into single tune double tune let me show you the circuit diagram of each and every one so this is the circuit diagram of single tune filter c l r this is i will write here this is sub classification of these tuned filters this is single tuned filter single tuned filter means this is a shunt connected filter it is connected across the load i mean it compensates basically the load harmonics so it has to be connected at the point of common coupling or across the load when you are connecting it across the you know or in parallel with the non linear load what what it does it basically comprises of inductance and capacitance what is this resistance resistance is not an external element this r represents basically resistance of this inductance coil but this resistance of inductance coil depends upon the quality factor of the coil and quality factor of the coil is omega l by r and it is uh, depending upon the quality factor of coil that you have chosen you can find the resistance of the coil now why it is called single tune filter because when you are tuning it you are tuning it corresponding to a particular harmonic frequency let us suppose you want to um, uh, you want to uh, suppress third harmonic component of uh, current suppose you this is your source source voltage and this is your non linear load nll means non linear load or i, I can show it like this this is the source source voltage source impedance zs which comprises of rs plus jxs this is source current as far as the source current is concerned and this is your non linear load i will write here non linear load maybe a power electronics based load among the category of loads that i have discussed just few moments back it may be a induction heating system it may be a air conditioning inverter ac system or any other type of non linear load now as far as this current is concerned it is distorted because of non linear nature of the load what you do you connect this shunt passive filter this is the point of common coupling pcc or well, maybe some other loads are also connected some linear lo linear loads are also connected so you connect your shunt passive single tuned shunt passive filter across this so this is c this is l this is r so what is this this is your single tuned filter let us suppose you want to suppress third harmonic component of current is3 which is very strong in the current so you tune it to that particular harmonic frequency that is third harmonic frequency f3 which is three times fundamental frequency and if fundamental frequency is 50 hertz it is 3 into 50 that means 150 hertz so that means at 150 hertz it will present very low impedance to that particular harmonic component of the frequency so that the third harmonic component of frequency is trapped is3 is trapped by it okay so 
so it provides very low impedance path to that third harmonic component of frequency so that it is it flows the third harmonic component or third harmonic current flows through this other harmonic components and fundamental they will not flow through this because for them it will present a very high impedance it will present very low impedance only to third harmonic current because you have tuned it to third harmonic frequency it's 150 hertz okay that means earlier your load was drawing hard this third harmonic component of current from the source now this third harmonic component of the current is not flowing in the source in the line it is flowing in the filter itself like this between load and filter so therefore your source current is free of third harmonic current okay so in terms of impedance for example if this is the frequency and this is the impedance of the filter it, it, it will be like this this is impedance of the filter at harmonic frequency fh for which you have tuned it very low very low impedance i can show it again very low impedance it will have very low impedance to that particular harmonic frequency okay this is how it traps third harmonic component of current or a particular harmonic current so this is single tune filter why is it called single tune filter because you have tuned this filter to a, a single harmonic frequency say third or it may be fifth or it may be seventh it depends which harmonic component of current you want to suppress or eliminate the double tuned filter will look like this let me draw the circuit diagram of double tuned filter and it is like this comprises of capacitor c1 c2 inductor l1 l2 resistor r1 r2 this is double tuned filter right here double tuned shunt passive filter or double tuned filter i am discussing classification of shunt passive filter and this single tuned filter or double tuned filter or various types of band pass shunt passive filters or tuned shunt passive filters why is it called double tuned filter this filter you can it has two branches this and this you can tune this filter for two different harmonic frequencies like this let me show you this is harm frequency and this is impedance maybe its characteristics may be like this this is harmonic frequency fh1 and this is harmonic frequency fh2 so for example this may be fifth harmonic component of current and this may be seventh harmonic component of current so that means you are tuning the two branches of this filter to two different harmonic frequencies say fifth and seventh so what will this filter do it will provide very low impedance for fifth harmonic current and seventh harmonic current and it will trap both of them and it will not allow them to flow in the ac network so those currents will be confined within the filter itself and no in the line current or in the source current ac current these fifth and seventh harmonic component of frequencies will not be there okay so this is double tuned filter so this is how you can suppress two particular harmonic components of currents using double tuned filter okay so this is another type of band pass filter or tuned filter third type is triple tuned filter triple tuned filter looks like this let me draw first this is c1 c2 c3 l1 l2 l2 and l3 or this is l2 you can call this l3 this is the circuit diagram of triple tuned filter with a series capacitor series capacitor series capacitor because um, this capacitor is in series with these two branches that's why it's called triple tuned filter with a series capacitor what is the characteristic of this triple tuned filter it is it, you can tune it to three different harmonic frequencies and at a time it can suppress three harmonic components of the currents another category of triple tuned filter is like this in which inductor is in series rest of the components are same 
this is L, C, this is C, this is L, C. Like this is L1, L2, L3. This is C1, C2, C3. This is triple tuned filter. Triple tuned filter with a series inductor. With a series inductor. It's also triple tuned filter, but here you don't have capacitor in series, you have inductor in series. Okay, this is called triple tuned filter. So these are these are various types of um, band pass shunt passive filters or tuned shunt passive filters, single tuned filter, double tuned filter, triple tuned filter with a series capacitor and triple tuned filter with a series inductor. Okay, <clears throat> now what is the other category of shunt passive filters? Uh, one is band pass or tuned filters for which these are different categories. Other type is high pass or damped filters. Second type is high pass filters or damped filters, damped shunt passive filters. Now let me write full shunt filters. Now I have already told you these high pass or damped filters which are other category of shunt passive filters. They are of different types like first order filter, second order filter, third order filter or and C type filter. So let me show them one by one. First order filter is like this. It comprises of a C and a, an R. This is first order filter. This is, this is a type of high pass filter or damped filter. High pass shunt passive filter or damped shunt, shunt passive filter. And this is called first order filter. Why is it called high pass filter? Because it can suppress high harmonic frequency components like 11th, 13th, 15th, 17th and so on. That's why it's called high pass filter. Okay. <clears throat> Second order filter looks like this. Let me show you. This is second order high pass shunt passive filter or second order damped pa shunt passive filter. Second order filter. Third order filter. This is C. This is L. This is R. Third order filter is like this. Here you have two capacitors, C1, C2, one resistor, one inductor. This is third order filter. And C type filter is like this. Capacitor and then you have a resistor and you have inductor and another capacitor here. This is C1, C2, L and R. This is called C type filter. C type filter. So these are different types of high pass or damped shunt passive filters. Okay. So therefore all the categories, I have drawn the circuit diagram of all the categories of shunt passive filters. Actually shunt, what does your shunt passive filter do? Let me elaborate it. The, suppose these are, um, you know, suppose this is the nature of current in your system. You know, harmonic producing load is somewhere here. This is the harmonic producing load. Okay, this is IHC converter, uh, AC to DC converter, a nonlinear load having front end AC to DC converter. It generates converter harmonics IHC, C for converter. And for example, this is a quasi square wave, it's not a sinusoidal wave. And this is your AC network. Let me show you AC network. This is AC network. In absence of filter, what, what will happen? This nonlinear load will draw all the current from this AC network. So IHN, N for network. So whatever are the harmonics drawn by this nonlinear load. So this is your nonlinear load, NLL. Producing harmonics or I can say harmonic producing load. Harmonic, harmonics producing or harmonics generating load. In absence of filter, all these harmonics will go into the AC network 
That means the source will supply all these harmonics. So therefore, these currents, harmonic currents will will intrude into the AC network and they will cause harmonic voltage drops and hence they will cause distorted voltages at the point of common coupling which will result in maloperation of voltage sensitive equipments. And they will also because these harmonic currents are drawn by this nonlinear load they will also overburden your system because harmonics are not ha harmonic power will also be flowing there and harmonic power is not a useful power it is not the power which is actually consumed by your load it just flows it's a waste or wastage power so it uh, deteriorates the power factor of your system and it overburdens your system so therefore you have to suppress these harmonics so what you will do you will connect a shunt passive filter i will write here shunt passive filter so what will this shunt passive filter do it will supply these i will write here ihf F for filter. So all the harmonic comp component of currents which were flowing earlier without shunt passive filter into the AC network. Now those will flow between the harmonic producing load and shunt passive filter. And therefore your network current will be free of H. So H I am not writing here. So this is IN means AC network current or source current. It will be now free of harmonics. So shunt passive filter will provide a very low impedance path to harmonics of particular frequencies and therefore the harmonics will be trapped like this so that no harmonic current is injected into the AC network and hence the source current or network currents are purely sinusoidal and therefore voltages at the point of common coupling are also sinusoidal, right? <coughs> so once we have studied shunt passive filters, drawn various circuit diagrams of different types of shunt passive filters, now let us discuss series passive filters. Second type of passive filters which are based on topology, that is series passive filters. Series passive filters. Just like shunt passive filters, series passive filters are of two types. Number one, uh, this uh, band band block or tuned filters a band there it was band pass here it is band block why it is called block I will come to that band block or tuned filters and second category is high high block there it was high pass here it is high block or damped filters, damped series passive filters. If I consider band block filters or tuned filters, band block or tuned filters are like this. For example, this is C, this is R and this is L. Actually, um, this may be your network this is source voltage, this is source current, and this is your nonlinear load. What you are doing, instead of connecting the filter across the load or at, uh, in parallel with the load at the point of common coupling, you are connecting a filter in series with the load, in series, you can see. That's why they are called series passive filters. Now, when, they, when you were discussing shunt passive filters, shunt passive filters you are connecting across the nonlinear load, and for a particular harmonic frequency which you wanted to suppress that shunt passive filter was uh, presenting very low impedance almost zero impedance to that particular harmonic current and it was trapping that harmonic current relieving the source current of that particular harmonic but what will the series passive filter do it cannot pro provide low impedance path it has to provide a very high impedance path, ideally infinite impedance to harmonic of a particular frequency. Let us suppose you want to block harmonic of order H. Okay, the harmonic frequency, fundamental frequency is F. So you want to block harmonic frequency H into F where H is the order of harmonic. It may be third harmonic, it may be fifth, seventh, ninth, any harmonic. So what will this series passive filter do? The series passive filter to this particular harmonic frequency for fundamental it will provide 
almost short circuit path low impedance path so that all fundamental component of current flows through the load okay but a harmonic of particular frequency it will provide it will present a very high impedance almost i mean ideally infinite impedance so that that harmonic component of current does not flow into the load i mean i mean it does not come from the source it is there in the load so it is it flows within the filter itself so whatever the harmonic uh, harmonic of a particular frequency is required by the load that is provided by this filter i mean it is the uh, it does not flow in the source current the harmonic of a particular the, the a particular harmonic current is blocked by this filter say h harmonic component or hf harmonic frequency is blocked by this filter that's why this type of filter is called band block filter or tuned filter so this is the circuit diagram of single tuned filter i will write here single tuned series passive filter or i will write single tuned filter then you can have double tuned filter also just like you have double tuned filter in shunt passive filters you can have double tuned filter in series passive filters also this is l1 l2 and only one c is there the two branches are tuned to two different harmonic frequencies maybe this is tuned to third harmonic this is tuned to fifth harmonic so neither third harmonic nor fifth harmonic component of current will be there present in the current it will block both of them okay so this is double tuned filter so two harmonic currents will be blocked by this filter okay so th these are two examples of band block or tuned filter series passive filters single tuned filter and double tuned filter <laughs> and then you have high block or damped filters high block or damped filter i can show you one uh, or two uh, one diagram <coughs> like this c r and l this is high block or series damped filter or damped series filter high block means it will block a number of frequency high order frequency maybe 11th 13th 15th 17th a number of frequency a number of frequencies it will block it will not allow them to flow into the source current or it will not allow those high frequency harmonics come from the source it will block them that's why it's called high block or series damped filter okay so that is about series passive filters their configurations their uh, you know classification based on the topology and various circuit diagram now you have hybrid passive filters hybrid passive filters a hybrid passive filter is a combination of shunt passive filter and series passive filter one such circuit diagram is like this i will show you one such circuit diagram <clears throat> so this is c1 c2 l1 l2 and r so this is the circuit diagram of damped double tuned double tuned hybrid passive filter so it comprises of series filter and shunt filter so it's a combination of the two that's why it's called double tuned hybrid passive filter okay so therefore this is the classification based on the topology now uh, you know um, how do you differentiate between shunt passive filters and series passive filters as you already know shunt passive filters are connected across the load and series passive filters are connected in series with the load the difference is this this is shunt connected this is series connected okay now when shunt passive filter is connected across the load its advantage is that it has to carry very low current 
because suppose you are tuning it for fifth harmonic so fifth harmonic component of current is already very small in magnitude so only fifth harmonic component of current will flow through this fundamental component will flow from source to load that will flow through the load that will not be carried by this and what is the main component of current is the fundamental component of current it may be of the order of hundreds of amperes but uh, harmonic component of current is very small in magnitude so therefore the current rating of this shunt passive filter is very very small the size of c and l is very small but you have to connect them connect the shunt passive filter to full voltage so this it's connected to full line to ground voltage so voltage rating of the filter will be high but current rating will be small so as a result of which the size of l and c will be small on the other hand series passive filter is connected in series with the load so its voltage rating is small but it has to carry the full load current and if the load current is 1000 ampere the entire 1000 ampere ha has to be carried by this series passive filter so therefore this series passive filter will be very large in rating and size another problem with series passive filter is that it results in uh, a substantial or uh, significant voltage drop because this inductance has some resistance and since it carries a large amount of current a substantial voltage drop will be there across the inductor coil of the filter and that will uh, result in uh, decreased voltage uh, or uh, you know some deteriorated voltage regulation or less voltage appearing across the load especially if you are connecting more than one series filter in series like this you are connecting many series filters like this one series filter may not create the problem but when you are connecting many filters so this may be tuned to third harmonic this may be tuned to fifth harmonic this to seventh harmonic then the voltage drops will add up and there will be significant voltage drop across all of them and that will decrease the load voltage okay so therefore the size of this uh, series passive filter is very large whereas size of shunt passive filter is small and shunt passive filter does not cause voltage drops because it is connected cross in parallel with the load it is because of this that shunt passive filters are very popular as compared to series passive filters if you have to make a choice between the two passive filters you definitely go for shunt passive filter okay so this was topology based classification second cl type of classification is connection based classification connection based classification connection based classification means how do you connect your passive filters uh, passive filters are you connecting them in parallel with load if you are connecting them in parallel with load then they become shunt passive filters or are you connecting them in series with load if you are connecting them in series with load then they, they become series passive filters or you connect them in series as well as parallel in that case they are hybrid passive filters so with this we have already discussed above third classification is supply based classification supply based <coughs> classification and when i say supply based classification supply based classification is like this you may have single phase passive filters you may have three phase three wire passive filters or you may have three phase four wire passive filters this is their classification based on the type of supply supply may be single phase ac supply or three phase three wire ac supply or three phase four wire ac supply so depending upon the nature of the supply this is the classification of passive filters you can classify them as single phase filters or three phase filters and in the three phase filters then again three phase three wire passive filters and three phase four wire passive filters so whether they are single phase passive filters or three phase passive filters you have to further classify them as shunt i mean when you have a single phase passive filter it can be shunt passive filter it can be series passive filter or it can be hybrid passive filter hybrid passive filter similarly if you have a three phase three wire passive filter it can be shunt three phase three wire shunt passive filter it can be three phase three wire series passive filter 
or it can be three phase three wire hybrid passive filter similarly if you have three phase four wire passive filters it can be a three phase four wire shunt passive filter a three phase four wire series passive filter or a three phase four wire hybrid passive filter i will show circuit diagrams of some of them okay based on the supply <clears throat> single phase or three phase one is like this this is source voltage vs source impedance rs j axis total source impedance is zs and source current is say for example is and i have shunt passive filter like this <clears throat> let me draw it first then i will explain And this is your non-linear load. I will write here non-linear load. Single phase non-linear load, of course. This is single phase AC supply. And this is shunt passive filter. I will write here single phase shunt passive filter. Now this passive filter is double tuned. I mean uh, this branch is tuned to third harmonic. Okay. Uh, this is uh, L3, C3. This branch is tuned to fifth harmonic. So this is L5, C5. And then you have high pass filter. I mean these two branches are uh, <coughs> these uh, band pass filters or tuned filters. Single tuned filter which suppresses third harmonic component of the current and another single tuned filter which suppresses fifth harmonic component of the current. And then what is this? This is high pass filter or damped filter which suppresses higher order harmonic of currents like 7th, 9th, 11th, 13th and so on. Let me call this CH, H means higher order harmonic, LH and RH. So these two are single tuned filters and this is damped filter. Okay, or these two are band pass filters and this is high pass filter. So this is one example, right? Similarly, series passive filter will be like this this is source voltage and then this is source impedance let us call this source impedance and zs as zs this is source current is here source current is is filter current is ih which will be i3 plus i5 plus i7 is key direction is and you know many high higher order filters and load current is il now here source current is is so i will show filters series passive filters one two and three like this and this is your load non-linear load nll means non-linear load Okay, this is a single tuned filter tuned to, to third harmonic frequency L3, C3. So it will block third harmonic component of the current. It will not allow that to come from the source. It will block third harmonic component of current in the source. This is tuned to fifth harmonic component. So it will block fifth harmonic component of current. And this is high pass filter. Say LH, CH and RH. So it will block higher order harmonic of currents like 9th, 11th, 13th and so on. Okay. So this is single phase. So therefore these are two sing single phase tuned filters or band pass filters and this is high pass filter or damped filter. So this is single phase series passive filter. So similarly I will show you three phase, three wire and three phase four wire uh, filters. First of all I will show you three phase three wire system filters this is source voltage vsa this is source voltage or phase voltage vsb and this is phase voltage vsc this is line impedance zs line a impedance this is line b impedance same zs considering a balanced three phase system line impedance zs 
this is source current line current isa this is source or line current isb and this is current isc and this is your say for example non-linear load three phase three wire non-linear load i will show you here this is a b c this is three phase three wire non-linear load okay and the three load currents are ila ilb and ilc now these ila ilb ilc three load currents are very rich in harmonics because your load is non-linear load but i want my source currents isa isb isc very nearly sinusoidal so what i will do i will connect shunt passive filter three phase filters now i have to connect shunt three phase shunt passive filter like this let me draw it first This is, say, for example, L5, C5. Similarly, this is L7, C7. And this is high pass filter. is CH, LH and RH. Shunt filter. So this is, this filter is a three phase filter tuned to fifth harmonic component. Because this is a three phase system, you don't have triplet, third and triplet harmonics. You have only non triplet harmonics like in, uh, like in the load current, like fifth, seventh, eleventh, thirteenth and so on. So this filter, three phase filter, shunt passive filter is a tuned filter tuned to fifth harmonic frequency this is tuned to seventh harmonic frequency and this is high pass filter so these two are band pass filters or tuned filter single tuned filters and this is damped filter or high pass filter okay so this will trap fifth harmonic component of current this will trap seventh harmonic component of current and this will trap higher order harmonic of harmonics of currents like 11th 13th 17th and so on so Therefore, your source currents will not have these types of harmonics. So this is three phase, three wire shunt passive filter. Similarly, I can show you three phase, three wire series passive filter. <clears throat> so that will look like this. This is VSA. This is VSB, this is VSC, this is feeder impedance ZS, this is also feeder impedance ZS or line impedance ZS, this is line current or source current ISA, source or line current ISB and source or line current ISC. I want these currents free of harmonics. Now I have a series tuned single tuned filter here tuned to one particular harmonic l5 c5 fifth harmonic similarly i have c7 and l7 this will block this will block fifth harmonic component in the source current this will block seventh harmonic component in the source current and then i have high pass filter this is ch rh and LH. This will block higher order harmonic of harmonics of currents. And this is your three phase, three wire non-linear load. Okay. So this is load current ILA. Similarly, in line B or phase B, let me draw it first. This is line current ILB. So this is C5, L5, C7, L7, CH, RH, LH. And similarly for third line, 
like this. This is load current ILC. This is tuned to fifth harmonic component of current, fifth harmonic frequency. This is tuned to seventh harmonic frequency. This is tuned to higher order har harmonics. So therefore, these harmonic components of currents will be blocked and source current will be free of these harmonic components of currents. So this is three phase, three wire series passive filter series passive filter similarly now you have three phase four wire shunt passive filter and three phase four wire series passive filter let me show one them one by one <clears throat> this is neutral wire this is vsa vsp VSC, this is feeder impedance ZS with line current or source current ISA. This is second line with feeder impedance ZS, line current or phase current ISB. And this is also feeder, feeder impedance ZS with line current ISC. Right? Now, this is my nonlinear load on the other side. I have three phase four wire load now three phase four wire non-linear load it has four wires a b c and it has also neutral wire let me call this neutral wire let me draw it first so this is l5 c5 this is also L7, C7, okay, this is LH, RH and CH, LH, RH, CH, high pass filter. This is single tuned filter, tuned to fifth harmonic component of current. This is tuned, single tuned filter, tuned to seventh harmonic component. This is high pass filter, tuned to higher order harmonic of currents. Of course, these are three phase filters, not single phase filters. So connection is like this. Similarly here. These are line currents, three load currents, ILA. ILB, which are very rich in harmonics. Okay, so I have a neutral connection also here. And this neutral is connected to load neutral. What will these filters do? They will filter out all these, you know, harmonics, fifth, seventh, and higher order harmonics. And neutral, if there are, you know, triplet harmonics also, uh, I mean, uh, there may or may not be, uh, if some single phase loads are also there, then there may be triplet harmonics, and those harmonics will also be compensated like this. So this is three phase. Four wire shunt passive filter. Shunt passive filter. Similarly, we have three phase four wire series passive filter. Let me show you circuit diagram for that. This is source voltage or phase voltage VSA, phase voltage VSB, neutral, phase voltage VSC. This is line or feeder impedance ZA, Z, ZS. Same in all the three lines or all the three phases, ZS, ZS. The source currents or line currents are ISA, ISB and ISC, right? Now I have a single tuned filter here, which is tuned to fifth harmonic component, C5, L5. I have another single tuned filter, which is tuned to seventh harmonic frequency, C7, L7. And I have a high pass filter which is tuned to higher order harmonics. LH, H for higher order harmonics, CH and RH. And this is my three phase, four wire nonlinear load. This is A, 
let me complete the circuit diagram first c5 l5 c7 l7 ch rh lh this is line current load current ila this is load current ilb this is terminal b and then similarly i have c5 l5 band block filter another single tune filter c7 l7 and band pass high pass filter high block filter not high pass filter high block filter or damped filter ch rh lh low load current in line phase c is i'll see this is c point or terminal c okay and then this is the neutral of the load neutral the neutral of load is connected to neutral of supply yeah, the two neutrals are connected so this is the example of a circuit diagram of three phase four wire series passive filter okay that's about three phase filters now after this i will show you some circuit diagrams of hybrid filters hybrid passive filters hybrid passive filter or hybrid passive filters so one of them may look like this this is source impedance source current is is so you may have single tune filter passive filter series as for series and then you have shunt filter also pf passive filter sh sh means shunt and then this is your non linear load okay so this is hybrid passive filter in this case the shunt filter is on the right side series filter on the left side it can be other way around also i mean shunt filter can be on left side series filter on right side but this is better uh, way of connecting it shunt filter should be closer to load because it will compensate load harmonics very effectively and series filter should be you know in series or on the left side but you can have this type of configuration also this is zs is source voltage vs first of all you have shunt passive filter pf means passive filter sh means shunt and then you have series passive filter on the right side this is pfs as per series and this is your single phase no or it may be three phase non linear load this is also another example of hybrid passive filter <clears throat> you can have this type of hybrid passive filter also i mean another configuration may be like this this is source voltage source or feeder impedance zs source current is this is series passive filter pfs for series this is shunt passive filter pf shunt this is series 1 and you may have another series passive filter on both sides pf s2 one shunt passive filter and two series passive filters and this is your non linear load this is another example of hybrid passive filter or you may have two shunt and one series passive filter like this let me show you that arrangement also this is feeder impedance that is source current is <clears throat> you have first of all shunt passive filter pf sh1 shunt 1 and you have series passive filter like this pf s another shunt passive filter 
like this ef sh2 and this is your nonlinear load right this is also an example of hybrid passive filter right so that is all about classification of various types of passive power filters based on topology they are shunt passive filters series passive filters and hybrid passive filters shunt passive filters are further classified into band pass or you know tuned filters and uh, high pass or damped filters band pass or tuned filters are further classified into single tuned filter double tuned filter triple tuned filter or multi tuned filter high pass or damped filters are classified into single first order filter second order filter third order filter or c type filter similarly series passive filters are of two types band band block filter or tuned filters and high block filters and or uh, damp filters band block or tuned filters are further divided into or classified into single tuned filters and double tuned filters and high block or damp filters are classified into first order filter and second order filter and then you have hybrid passive filters which is a combination of series and shunt passive filters like this the advantage of let me tell you one of the drawbacks of you know shunt passive if you take shunt passive filter i mean why should we use both shunt as well as series one of the problem with shunt passive filter is for example this is your source this is source impedance rs j axis and this is the point of common coupling where your non linear load is connected and your filter is also connected like this cf sometimes what happens the shunt filter capacitance makes a parallel resonance with the uh, system uh, reactance this may be transformer plus feeder reactance so at a particular harmonic frequency they uh, they will result in parallel resonance and when parallel resonance occurs at a particular harmonic frequency not the harmonic frequency at which you are tuning some other harmonic frequency parallel resonance then voltage distortion a, a, a significant voltage distortion will take place at the point of common coupling that is one problem and another problem is that a large current will be drawn by the filter from the source and if there is a fuse in series with this that fuse will blow that will cause fuse blowing so therefore parallel resonance is one of the drawbacks of shunt passive filters parallel resonance at a particular harmonic frequency parallel resonance between capacitance of the shunt passive filter and inductance of the source impedance it will result in large voltage distortion and large current draw to avoid that we use hybrid passive filter for example in hybrid passive filter you are using this series passive filter along with shunt passive filter so what this series passive filter will do it will block the parallel resonance between shunt passive filter and between source impedance because it is in between so it will not happen that parallel resonance to it will not allow that parallel resonance to happen and it will limit the magnitude of the current so therefore that parallel resonance can be taken care of by this uh, series passive filter which is a part of your hybrid filter and this hybrid filters some uh, are also preferred sometimes because they provide better harmonic compensation okay let me quickly go for design of passive filters very quickly i will go for design of passive filters you know the passive shunt filter um, uh, first of all we will take shunt passive filter we will try to design a shunt passive filter actually this shunt passive filter it consists of a series combination of inductance and capacitance tuned to a particular harmonic frequency and we know that it acts as a low impedance path for that particular harmonic and traps that harmonic and does not allow that harmonic to flow in, into the ac network or into the source now in a single phase system third and fifth harmonic filters are designed and they then you use a high pass filter for higher order you know uh, uh, harmonics second order damped filter we use same is true with three phase systems okay now we know that when you design a shunt passive filter it has l c and 
R. R is basically the resistance of this inductance coil. How do you decide about the size of the capacitor? In addition to doing harmonic compensation, this shunt passive filter does reactive power compensation also. Some rear, not 100% reactive power compensation, but some reactive power compensation. Like this capacitor is designed in such a way that the reactive power demand, say for example, you want 50% reactive power compensation of the load. So that you calculate how much reactive power compensation you want to do and you design this capacitor according to that. So reactive power, which has to be supplied by this capacitor of the shunt passive filter. So I will write here reactive power to be supplied by capacitor of shunt passive filter is given by QC equal to that is given by MVS square by XC. I mean it is actually V, v square by XC. We know this formula. Reactive power generated by a capacitor is so voltage across it Vs. Suppose voltage across it is Vs. Vs square by XC. XC is the capacitive reactance of this. And what is this M? M is the number of phases and number of branches. Okay. For a three phase system it will be three. Okay. So that is equal to M into Vs square into omega C. Because what is this? This is M Vs square. What is XC? It is 1 by omega C. So you are doing it like this. Omega C N. Omega C N. So, ये आप ऊपर ले जा रहे हो, so it becomes m v s square omega c n. तो यहाँ से आपको c n का वैल्यू मिलेगा. So c n will be q c divided by m v s square omega. M omega v s square. Omega is you know uh, fundamental frequency. Omega is two pi f. ये तो fundamental frequency है, because reactive power is to be supplied at fundamental frequency. You know omega is 2 pi f yeah, 314 radians per second. M may be 3, M may be any number and Vs is the voltage across the filter which is the same as source voltage and QC is how much reactive power it has to compensate for load. Here you have the capacitance value. Once you know the value of capacitance then you have to find the value of inductance. How do you find value of inductance? Now inductance you have to design, C you already know. L you have to design in such a way that along with C it makes a low impedance path for a harmonic of particular frequency, say FH. Okay, so usse aapko iska L ka value milega. And let me tell you the inductance is given by inductance of the filter is given by this expression. Ln is equal to one by n square omega square into C n. Ya aapki dusri equation hai. <coughs> Where uh, what is n? n is the nth order harmonic. So, suppose you are you have to trap fifth harmonic. So it will be L5. And n will be in that case 5. Okay. So inductance value in that case will be 1 by 5 square omega square Cn. Cn to already up pata hai to ln ka value mil gaya. And R jo inductance ki resistance hai. Wo kaise aap decide karte hai? The resistance will uh, decide how sharp tuning will take place sharpness of the tuning if you want high sharpness of tuning accordingly you have to design the resistance of the filter and resistance of the shunt passive filter is given by rn is equal to n omega ln by qn where this q is not reactive power this qn is quality factor of the coil so aapko quality factor coil is choose karna hai that you get this value of Rn okay and this quality factor of the coil is generally 0 to 100 greater than 0 less than 100 okay so this is how you design uh, C, L and R of a shunt passive filter very simple design equations same procedure you can apply for three phase shunt passive filters but for three phase shunt passive filter uh, Okay, उससे पहले आपको ये तो shunt passive filter हो गया, उसके बाद single tuned filter हो गया, आपको high pass filter भी design करना है. High pass filter design करने के लिए भी same procedure है, लेकिन उसमें जो आपको frequencies लेनी है, वो higher order frequency and a 
uh, a number of large number of frequencies you have to take and similarly on the same grounds you can design a series passive filter so this is about you know brief briefly i am discussing about series passive filter uh, sorry design of shunt and series passive filters okay now what is the cost of passive filters it's a very important factor because in many applications cost becomes the deciding factor it has been found that cost of passive filters sometimes goes as high as 15 to 20 percent of cost of equipment say for example your, your load is say um, a non-linear load uska 15 to 20 percent cost filter ka cost ban jata hai, and sometimes it becomes unaffordable okay and what should be the location of passive filter where to connect it near to source in the center of the feeder or across the load should be near the load load that is point of common coupling is the best place where you have to you must connect your shunt passive filter okay right <clears throat> now let me now finally discuss some significant drawbacks or limitations of passive filters limitations of passive filters passive filters suffer so, uh, from some serious drawbacks first is uh, i will read i will uh, uh, i will write like this the passive filters are not adaptable to varying system conditions the passive filters are not adaptable to varying system conditions i mean system conditions may change your load may change source impedance may change okay uh, but passive filters do not adapt themselves to changing system conditions and remain rigid they remain rigid once they are installed that means they have a fixed compensation they provide fixed harmonic and reactive power compensation if you are uh, or fixed harmonic compensation I, I would like to say if system conditions change they remain rigid they don't adapt to those changing system conditions second drawback is that change in operating conditions of the system may result in detuning of the filter the change in operating condition of system may result in detuning and this is a very dangerous phenomenon detuning of the filter and it may cause increased deterioration it may cause high deterioration or increased deterioration Say once you are designing a filter you are designing it for a particular you know harmonic compensation but if system conditions change your source feeder impedance changes feeder you know some new lines are there on the feeder side your load conditions change what happens your since your filter does not adapt to changing operating conditions it detunes it is tuned to one particular situation but when the condition changes it detunes and when it detunes it fails to provide harmonic compensation and a huge harmonic currents will be drawn from the source and that will result in increased current distortion or deterioration and that will result in distortion in voltage at the point of common coupling so this is another serious drawback or limitation of passive filters third is the design of passive filters is reason reasonably affected by source impedance the design of passive filters is reasonably affected by 
सोर्स इम्पीडेंस उसका मतलब यह हुआ वेन यू डिजाइन अ पैसिव फिल्टर द फिल्टर इम्पीडेंस शुड बी वेरी वेरी स्मॉल एज कंपेयर टू सोर्स इम्पीडेंस एंड इफ सोर्स यूर सोर्स इम्पीडेंस इज ऑलरेडी वेरी स्मॉल जनरली यू डिजाइन यूर सोर्स फॉर अ स्मॉल इम्पीडेंस देन दिस फिल्टर इम्पीडेंस विल बी एक्सट्रीमली स्मॉल एंड द साइज एंड रेटिंग एंड कॉस्ट ऑफ फिल्टर विल इंक्रीज when you are designing it for very small impedance so size rating and cost of filter will increase and second thing is that it will result in over compensation of reactive power over compensation of reactive power okay so this is third problem this happens if your source impedance is very very small fourth problem is <clears throat> and uh, one more problem is Okay, the design of filter has to be altered or changed with changes in source impedance. If source impedance changes, you have to redesign your filter. That's another problem. Next is in case of large power filter, the power losses may be substantial. substantial there are substantial power losses in large passive filters due to resistive elements because usme inductance jo hote hai inductance ki kuch resistance bhi hoti hai due to resistance or resistive elements due to resistive elements for low and medium power applications this is not a main problem but for high power applications this is a problem okay next is jo already main aapke sath discuss kar chuka hu kuch der pehle parallel resonance parallel resonance between filter and <coughs> source impedance between filter impedance and source impedance generally filter capacitance and source inductance can cause in amplification of some characteristic and non characteristic harmonics characteristic and non characteristic harmonics okay and large large filter currents if there is parallel resonance to a corresponding to a particular harmonic frequency that harmonic frequency component uska amplitude bahut zyada amplify ho jayega and that will cause voltage deterioration So that will result in voltage deterioration. So instead of uh, you know uh, reducing the deterioration in the voltage, ulta hi ho jayega. It will increase the voltage deterioration. Okay, that is another problem with uh, passive filters. Another is the environmental effects also affect the performance of filters such as aging and temperature etc. The environmental effects. like aging and temperature changes change can detune the filter in a random way your filter which was earlier tuned it can get detuned and it can get detuned in a very random way you will never know when it has got detuned okay next is the presence of a small you know even a small dc component can cause saturation of inductance of filter 
जैसे सिंगल फेज हाफ वेव कन्वर्टर है या थ्री फेज हाफ वेव कन्वर्टर उसमें डीसी कंपोनेंट ऑफ करंट फ्लो होता है दैट ड्रॉज डीसी कंपोनेंट ऑफ करंट एंड दैट कॉजेज सेचुरेशन ऑफ इंडक्टेंस एंड देन स्पेशल एंड फॉर मेनी सिंगल ट्यून फिल्टर द साइज एंड कॉस्ट ऑफ फिल्टर मे बिकम हाई साइज एंड कॉस्ट ऑफ मेनी सिंगल ट्यून फिल्टर्स विच आर डिजाइन फॉर हारमोनिक हारमोनिक्स कंपनसेशन द साइज एंड कॉस्ट बिकम्स हाई एंड फिल्टर मे बिकम वेरी कॉस्टली ओके एंड फाइनली स्पेशलाइज्ड प्रोटेक्शन एंड monitoring devices are required specialized protection and monitoring devices are required for passive filters so these are some of the serious drawbacks of passive filters because of these drawbacks passive filters nowadays with active power filters like voltage source inverters you can use instead of them they are not very popular however for small power applications and medium power applications you can still find them useful especially in hvdc systems okay so therefore in today's lecture we have discussed about what a passive filter is why do we require passive filter like we require passive filter for harmonic compensation and some reactive power compensation and uh, we have discussed about um, various topologies or various classifications of passive filters based classification based on topology connection based classification and supply based classification and i have drawn various types of circuit diagrams and explained various types of classifications various types of passive filters shunt series and hybrid passive power filters and then a small uh, a, a little bit of design of shunt passive filter and series passive filter i have discussed with you and finally the limitations of passive filters let me tell you one more thing that passive filters never make the currents line currents purely sinusoidal they can only compensate uh, or mitigate the effect of harmonics they cannot cancel 100% harmonics some harmonics still remain there because if you have to remove say 15 harmonics you cannot use 15 single tuned filters then cost of and size of filters will become very large use a few uh, you know uh, single tuned filters and some high pass filter and still some harmonics will remain in the current current will not become purely sinusoidal on the other hand if you use active shunt active uh, you know uh, filters not passive filters active filters using voltage source inverters which inshallah we will discuss in next lecture there you can do 100% almost 100% harmonic compensation so we have discussed some various serious uh, drawbacks of passive filters like their compensation is fixed they don't adapt to changing environments changing system conditions with changing system conditions they may detune and parallel resonance is a problem size and size and cost is a problem a small dc component in current can cause saturation of inductance of filter and all that so with this i end my today's lecture um, in inshallah in our ne next lecture we will discuss active power filters so i advise all of you to please go through this lecture and in case of any queries please get connected to me all the best to all of you thank you